Hey guys, welcome back to another video in the series of DevOps projects. And in today's video, we are going to discuss about the Nginx setup. So if you have been following this series, there is only one setup that is needed right now, which is Nginx setup. All right. So uh, I hope you have already uploaded, uh, uh, already downloaded this folder and there is a vagrant file over here. We'll just have to install the Nginx server using this. All right. So uh, if you're new over here and have not subscribed my channel yet, kindly do so. So without further ado, let us understand how to install nginx over here so if you can see on my screen uh, you can just right click over here show more options i'll open the git bash over here okay once you open this you just have to log in into vagrant ssh web 01 so web 01 is the place where we are going to install our nginx okay so this is going to take some time okay this is done now just pay attention over here all the other environments that we are using are CentOS environments but the environment that we are using for oh this one is this one so this is a ubuntu environment okay so you can take a look over there this is ubuntu that we are going to use over here now the first thing that we are going to do before setting up the nginx i hope you remember that we have to update everything but we used to do sudo yum over there in the CentOS environment here we are going to do is sudo sorry my bad sudo apt update so we are going to update it first okay so this is one thing it is going to download stuff and then it is going to take some time a few seconds perfect it is done let me clear this sorry my command is wrong clear and now we are going to upgrade it as well so sudo apt upgrade hyphen y hyphen y because i do not want to give every time a yes command okay so it is going to do the processing it is installing the newer version of config file this and this this and that it will take a few seconds this is also done perfect i'll just clear this okay so this is done now i'll just i have to sudo su or sudo i we'll just do sudo i and you can see that we have got the root privileges so that's what we are going to do now what we are going to do is we are going to create a configuration file so now why do we want to create a configuration file because this will be used to redirect request from nginx to tomcat server on port 8080 so here nginx server will act as a load balancer so that's what we have to do we have to create a config file okay so uh, we'll create a config file by name vpro app v p r o a p p so we'll create a file so let us do that so vi editor we are going to use etc nginx Oh, one minute before doing that i think we have to install the nginx my bad so first of all let's install nginx so this is the command for that hyphen y that's what we are going to do it's it'll start the downloading http archive ubuntu dot ubuntu zenial updates this and this it'll take its own sweet time so let's wait for it to happen so this is the progress that is happening perfect so this is done all right let me just clear this now we are going to create a vpro app config file okay so let us type the command vi hyphen etc hyphen nginx hyphen sites hyphen available if you hit tab over here it will show you available so this is the place that we are going to create stuff this is the place and the file name would be vpro app so just give a name vpro app you can give any other name i'm just giving this name okay so this is done okay so this is where you have to create the stuff now there are two ways to do it either you can type whatever uh, i'm going to type it over here i'm not going to type a lot because it will make the video uh, a little longer and i don't want to do that i'll just copy paste it from somewhere you can just pause the video and then you can just copy or you can just copy paste, copy paste from the document that you already have so I hope you already have this document, right? So if you go to the down, to the last page, I'm sorry, the second last page, this is something that you have to copy. Okay, so I'll just copy it from here or you can copy it from somewhere else, just minimize. So I have to enter over here, so I have to type I. So right, right now I'm in insert mode. So now I'll just paste it. Okay, so this is done. Now let us understand what exactly is happening over here. 
So if you can see on the screen, this is upstream vpro app. So vpro app is the name server app01 is the server name 8080. It's where it's going to listen. So it is going to listen on port 80. Okay, so this server is going to listen on port 80. So if you access nginx on port 80, it will route the request to vpro app server. This is vpro app server app 001 at 8080. I'm going to repeat it. Please listen it carefully and understand it that if you are if you're going to access nginx on port 80 because this is where it is going to listen it will route the request to vpro app server which is app01 at port 8080 okay so i hope you have understood it now this is done press sec key and then colon wq hit enter and you are out of it now if you want to check whether your file is perfect or not you can just do the cat cat command i'll just copy this whatever this is paste it and let's see and you can see this is everything is perfectly done okay so once this appeared over here that means that everything is fine okay now we are going to remove the default file in nginx so in nginx there is a default file so if you want to see so you can just cat it hyphen etc hyphen nginx i think nginx is the word nginx after that hyphen after that you have to type sites i guess sites hyphen enabled e n a b l e t hash sorry default okay my bad has to be etc not rtc my bad you can see this is a configuration uh, this is a file which is default file and we don't want that we have to create a new one so uh, we don't have to create a new one we have to use something else so this is the by default file this is what you have to delete so what i'll do is i'll just remove it so rm and i have to do it forcefully so rf and then this is that we are going to delete and this is deleted so what you will do is if you do cat over here you will see that there is no such file or directory that means it is deleted so perfect this is done okay now uh, what we will do is we are going to uh, create a link to activate the website so for that what you have to do if you remember in sites available we have created a file vpro app which is the configuration file and then we are going to link it so let me just Type the command for linking you have to type ln hyphen s etc i'm going to copy it from somewhere else uh, i think this is the one etc let me just copy this hyphen s paste instead of default i have to write v pro app and again i have to paste the same command and then here I have to do v pro app. Okay, I think this is this is the command. Let me just cross check ln hyphen s etc nginx sites enabled. Okay, this has to be site not enable. This has to be available. So this is what we have to do. Available. Okay, I hope my spelling is correct. And then that I have to create a link. So pay attention. I'll just copy this and I'll just clear the screen so that I'm not typing it and you are not able to see it. So let me just clear this. Okay, now I'm going to type whatever I have copied. So this is the command ln hyphen s etc nginx sites hyphen available v pro app to etc nginx sites enabled. This is the difference hyphen slash v pro app this is so this will enable our site now what do we have to do we have to just check uh, whether our system ctl status status of nginx what is happening over here you can see not found okay it is inactive which is dead you can see from here that it is inactive and dead so what we are going to do over here we are going to just restart it and let's see how this works restart nginx and this is saying that system ctl restart nginx this service is not found okay so i have cleared everything over here and now what we'll see system ctl uh, 
I have just restarted my machine. So how do you restart it? You can go over here. And this is the web zero one that you have already created and then you have to restart it. Okay. So you can just right click over here, close and power it off. Once you power it off, right click again and then you can just start it or you can double click it. It'll restart. So that's one important thing. Uh, that can be the reason that your Nginx could not be starting. Okay. So uh, I'll just restart Nginx and no response is a good response. So let's see the status of it. And you can see that it is active and running. It's perfect. So in order to test it, whether everything is working fine or not, you can just stop it. So I'll just stop it over here. And again, check the status. And you can see that it is dead. It is not working anymore. I'll just run it again. And you can see that it is loaded, but it's not running. Okay. So I'll just clear this screen again. I'll just restart it. And then if you see the status for it, you can see that is this is active and running. So this was the last nail in the coffin. This was the last thing that we wanted to do. And now our Nginx setup is done. So I hope you guys have understood this part. And this is the last thing that we have to do. And now we have done all the application, installed all the applications, and we have to now do a validation on it. All right. So in the next video, we'll do the validation and check whether our website is working all right or not. We are going to go to the VM and then we are going to go to the browser. And then from there, we are going to test it. All right. So guys, uh, if you have not understood anything, feel free to comment below and we will address that. So thanks guys. And I'll see you in the next one.